Hello and happy December 1st. Happy first day of Vlogmas. I've got a Christmas shirt on and I am ready. Oh, so this is exciting. Um, as you will have seen, I got an advent calendar for Alfie at Aldi that's got cat treats in it. And apparently he does not approve because he did not eat them. So we'll see if they grow on him. Um, I also have the dandelion and dogwood yarn advent as well as stitched by mrs d's bear advent so i am super excited to take a look i'm on my morning break and i'm just gonna dig right in and see what i have here so day one Oh, how pretty. Ooh, look at that. Okay, let's see what it's called. It is called tobogganing. Tobogganing. Oh, that is so pretty. So I chose the one that is um, singles and there's either going to be something lacy. It's either the mohair or the alpaca. I forget. I bet it'll be every other day. So today is a merino singles. I bet tomorrow will be a surrey alpaca. So I am actually going to go ahead and put that back in the bag. Just so that it is. So I remember what day is what. So that is very exciting. Next. Let's open up this box. Are you gonna eat your treats, Elf? Or do they not look very tasty? Okay. Let me bring you over where you can see it. <gasps> Number one. My little bear. <laughs> see what else I have. Okay, let's see how many days this is. Nine, twelve, ten, eleven, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So I think what I'll do with this advent is I will open it every other day. So I'll skip tomorrow and then open something the third. So on odd days, I'll open something since it's a 12 day advent. So that is so exciting. Got to meet my little bear. All right, well, I don't have a whole lot to tell you today. Um, I think it's, it's Wednesday, so I've got Bible study tonight. So just a regular Wednesday. Um, we're having leftovers for supper, so nothing too exciting there. Um, but yeah, it's great to see ya, and I look forward to doing Vlogmas here, and yeah, good to talk to you all again. Maybe talk a little bit later. Bye. taking a walk on my lunch break lately. There's a guy walking a dog, so I might have to let you go. It's a really nice day today. It turned out nice and sunny right now. It was kind of overcast this morning. 
Okay, he ended up going the other way. So, it's December, guys. This is pretty exciting. I love this group. Hope people can't see me talking to myself. This is embarrassing. Oh, well. So, yeah, I like to take my little walk on my lunch break, get some fresh air, a little bit of exercise. My daily constitutional. So I'm gonna let you go because I'm gonna be huffing and puffing here because I try to walk as fast as I can, which isn't very fast, but that's okay. See you in a bit. Hello, happy Thursday, December 2nd. So, sorry, I feel like I was like really incoherent and out of it yesterday. It's been a really busy week. So coming back from Thanksgiving weekend, it's just been really busy at work. Um, so the phones have been busy, there's lots of emails. It's just been nonstop and um, they're even offering some overtime to catch up on some things since the phones are so busy. So I've been taking advantage of that. So I feel like I've been meeting myself coming and going. <laughs> so sorry if I don't seem very like with it in these. So, um, but hey, let's go ahead and open up day two of the Dandelion and Dogwood Advent Calendar. So no stitched by Mrs. D one today since it's a even day. Ooh, look at that. It's one of the Surrey Alpaca ones. Oh, what a lovely color. Oh, I should set it next to yesterday's. Oh, aren't those nice together? Love it. Um, I... I am currently not on social media, so um, I got on last night and looked on Ravelry to see if Amy Loudon had released a pattern because I remembered her saying she was going to for Advent that would work with these. So I am going to get that. It's a really pretty wrap, um, so I need to get that. Okay, this one is called By the Lakeside. 
Oh, it's so pretty and it is so incredibly soft. I love it so much. So I'm waiting to cast on my Advent project until I see if I want to use them in the order they're received or if I want to rearrange them. So we shall see. Um, current projects I'm working on are I have been making some knitted washcloths, dishcloths. So this one's kind of fun. It makes me think of candy canes. Um, I didn't bring them with me here. They're actually out in the kitchen in use. So that's just the one that's currently in progress. Um, this little mini one I made for my mom with some leftover yarn. Um, she likes to put like her thing of dish soap on these. So kind of like a little doily almost. But so yeah, that is one of the other ones. That's a Hobby Lobby one as well as the candy cane looking one. And then I also got this at Walmart when I was there, some peaches and cream, Christmas dishcloth yarn. And this one is Yuletide or Noel, if you're French. Excuse me. No. That will be taken off with my yarn. So, oh, additionally, I am working on, I cast these on the day after Thanksgiving. I made a very modest start on them. So this is the beginning of my Gingerbread Dream Socks by Deborah Raymond. This, of course, are they, if you haven't seen them yet. Oh, by the way, I forgot to do the whole who I am thing. So my name is Michelle. This is my crafty YouTube channel, Miss Strawberry Makes. I am a knitter, crocheter, and sewer. And yeah, welcome to my channel. I have a cat named Alfie. It's currently playing with my knitting needles. What you doing? And oh boy. Okay, and that's about that. So what else do I have to tell you? I got some new Christmas fabric. Let me show you that. So Joanne Fabrics had a sale on the day after Thanksgiving, as they do. So I got some Christmas fabric on sale. So there's this one. Really old timey Christmassy, I love that. And this is just regular cotton. This one I adore. I forget what it's actually called, but I'm calling it Huga Christmas. Love that. And this one's really retro. The happiest Christmas trees. And then this one, I got enough to make a dress. So it's just kind of a fun mid-century looking design, but in fun Christmassy colors. So, and it's even got a little bit of gold in it. I don't know if you can see it. Isn't that fun? So with these, I, if I get around to it, I may make some bags. I've got some other fun Christmas fabrics. So we'll see if that actually happens. And then also I um, have some, excuse me, yarn I got from, I'm so sorry, I got from Dandelion and Dogwood last year. That is, I think it's called All the Christmas Candy. Um, so I have enough of that to make a sweater out of. And I'm thinking I'll do another Whitmore out of that held with either Surrey Alpaca or um, Mohair. So I want to make that this season as well. Um, one other thing, I have this kit that I've had for, I think, a couple years now. I want to actually, oops, it's hard to see with the plastic. I want to actually stitch that up this year. So that's another thing. Well, I'm going to make myself another cup of coffee before I, my break is over here. Um, trying to think if there's anything else interesting to tell you guys. Um, so yesterday 
was Bible study in the evening. We ended up picking up three of the wee rabbits to take them to the kids class during Bible study. And afterwards we got some fries and pies at McDonald's and looked at Christmas lights before taking them home. So that was fun. I didn't get any video of that because I was driving. <laughs> and then um, tonight there is a little like holiday thing down on the shops downtown so we are probably gonna go to that too they usually have like a horse pulling a wagon and stuff like that so it's very merry and fun so um, hopefully we'll get some video of that and I am hoping to get I'm hoping that the coffee shop I like will be open and that I can get a decaf latte or something or maybe like some spiced mold cider or hot cocoa or something. We'll see. So I am going to go, I'm not going to open Alfie's advent calendar in front of you guys. He still hasn't eaten the treats from yesterday. He's kind of persnickety. So um, I'm not going to open that. I will open it, of course, but just not on camera. Um, so I am going to see you in a little bit. See ya.